Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to take a minute to truly thank you guys for being the best fans on the planet, for supporting me in anything that I do. There is nobody like you out there. Like there is nobody like a soap fan. No matter what we do, you're there rooting for us. Being married to an actor who's on a soap, who's been on two soaps, we say it all the time, without you guys, we have nothing. And I really, really wanted to take a second to just talk to you guys. Thank you for your support and this incredible warm welcome you guys have created for me coming back to the show on Young and the Restless playing the role that means so much to me, Mackenzie Browning, uh, that I played when I was a teenager. And I also wanted to just kind of give you guys a little bit more backstory about me and why I became an actress in the first place. I had a really difficult childhood. When I was little, I was never somebody who watched cartoons or animated shows. I always watched real movies. So I would watch a movie and then I'd watch it. Remember, well, this is like VC uh, VCR days. And so I'd have to rewind, watch the scene, rewind, watch the scene, and then I'd memorize it and then I'd go up into my room and reenact the scenes with my stuffed animals. And it was an escape for me during a time that was really difficult and a time that I could just kind of play make-believe and become these heroes that I looked up to. Every time, I would watch something where the character might have been struggling in the beginning and or like Teen Witch is a perfect example. That was one of my favorite childhood movies. You watch her journey go basically from this very unpopular girl and she has this journey where all of a sudden she takes the potion and she becomes the most popular girl in school and, it, and it's this great arc but then she realizes the truth of like what's real and what real friendship is and you see her strength and you see her kind of go on this journey. And films like that would inspire me when I wasn't the most popular girl or I was being bullied or I was going through stuff. I would kind of channel these characters or they would give me hope or give me some kind of strength. My goal when I was little was that one day I was going to be the person that someone who might be struggling and going through something is going to look up to and that maybe I can make them laugh during a hard time or maybe they could just say, you know, she understands what I'm feeling because she's going through it too, even if it's through a character. So that's why I became an actor. And um, the truth is, it's not an easy journey. <laughs> it's, you hear so many no's, way more no's for every time you guys see me on something. That's like a hundred no's to one yes. And that's a hundred heartbreaks. It's a commitment, it's a lifelong commitment. And when I started the blog, it was a place where I could. I choose. I didn't have to wait for people to decide that I'm good enough to come and play this role. I could just wake up every morning and I could choose to inspire you guys or to teach you something or to create something or, you know, some people are like, oh, it's just beauty. Well, you know what? When you feel like shit, that beauty, when you get to go and play with makeup and it makes you happy and you feel prettier because of it, it legitimately can help you feel better. If you're someone who struggles with acne, as I've struggled my whole life and it's humiliating when you don't wanna leave the house without makeup because you have acne scars or pimples all over your face and that makes you feel awful, if I can help you find a solution to that, well, then I'm doing everything that I set out to do in this lifetime. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please like, subscribe, subscribe to Madison Charles and follow me on social media. I love you guys and be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking of the episodes. Thank you.